This is the Cavatron Jet Plus Tap-On G13730K and this unit has a two-year warranty. The warranty is valid for normal usage conditions. Any modifications or accidental damage will render the warranty void and that also means using competitors' inserts. The power cable is a standard kettle lead and the cordless tap-on foot pedal takes AA batteries and should they run out there is an optional cable to plug in the foot pedal. The Cavatron Jet Plus includes an airline and waterline with filter. Insert them both into the back of the Cavatron. It is very, very important that the waterline and the airline are not mixed up. If accidentally mixed up, you'll flood the unit and void the warranty, which will cost a few hundred pounds to repair. On the back of the unit, there is a white ring, which indicates and is labelled water, and a black ring indicating and labelled as air. It is simple to get it right. Simply push in the blue water line to the white ring and the black air cable into the black ring. To take these lines out, firstly disconnect the male ADEC connector and the female ADEC connector and then simply press down the ring to release the line and pull the line out. To switch the Cavatron Jet Plus on, the button is underneath the front of the unit. All the lights on the screen will flash in a circle. The foot pedal should have batteries and therefore it will automatically switch itself on. If the batteries have run out then plug in the foot switch cable into both the foot pedal and the back of the Cavatron. Some Cavatron Jet Plus units will have an updated tap on foot pedal function. You must use the right foot pedal with the right version of the Cavatron Jet Plus and also the Cavatron Plus. If replacing the foot pedal please take care to replace the correct foot pedal with the correct Cavatron option. Sometimes the foot pedal may lose Bluetooth connection to the Cavatron. To reconnect, switch the Cavatron off and unscrew the base plate from the foot pedal. Once removed, check the batteries are seated properly. As the foot pedal gets kicked around, the felt wedges can get squished down. So re-plump them and change the batteries if necessary. To check the foot pedal's Bluetooth connection, switch on the Cavatron and hold down the purge button on the front of the Cavatron panel until all the icons start to flash erratically. Then press the small red button on the base foot pedal, which is found in between the batteries, until all the icons on the Cavatron panel are flashing at the same time in unison. Once that has happened, the foot plate can be replaced. Turn off the Cavatron before replacing the foot pedal. The foot plate has a small ledge which slips under the foot plate to make sure it's fitted nicely. Once you switch the Cavatron back on, the foot pedal should work and can be used in a standard or tap-on function. The standard function is to use the foot pedal with constant pressure, releasing that pressure when you want the Cavatron to stop. The tap on function allows the user to tap the foot pedal to switch the Cavatron on and tap the foot pedal again to switch it off. It can take a few seconds for this command to start and stop, so make sure not to remove the insert until the water has stopped, not when the foot pedal is pressed or you may cover your patient in water. When it is time to start scaling before inserting a Cavatron insert, fill up the Jetmate while vertical until a bubble of water appears at the top and then drop the insert in. The insert should be nice and straight and dropping clear of the sides of the Jetmate. You should not have to push the insert in. Please measure your inserts before use to make sure they are within length tolerances to be effective and work effectively. Please measure your inserts before use to make sure they are within length tolerances to be efficient and work effectively. Measurement cards can be requested and sent out by the service department or your local Dent Supply Serona account manager. Whichever insert is being used, it should be used on a water and power setting dependent upon type and the age of the insert. The power dial and water dial should be adjusted until you reach a consistent drip with a light hue. Using too much power will cause excessive insert wear and patient discomfort. The boost setting should only be used for short bursts of time to remove heavy deposits of plaque. This can be applied using the foot pedal being held down or by pressing the boost button on the Cavatron panel. Green subgingival perio pocket insert should be used on low power and water, keeping the dial in the blue zone. Blue inserts, which are from light to heavy supragingival deposits, should be used on medium to high power. If an insert or jetmate starts to heat up, stop scaling immediately. Remove the insert and make sure that the jetmate is full up with water. Replace the insert and turn the power down. Do not turn the water up, this will not cool the insert down. If an insert is not cavitating, check that the insert stacks look okay. 
and replace if they are warped or bent. If it still does not work, change the jet mate and make sure there is enough water in the water bottle. If there is still no cavitation, turn the unit off and remove the handpiece and foot pedal cable, making sure that no cables are twisted or damaged. If you identify a faulty part, then please contact the service department for a part code, which can be purchased through your dental supplier of choice. Normally, by process of elimination, you can resolve most errors. However, if you are unsuccessful, please contact our service department for advice or book your unit in for a service and repair. To use the Cabotron Jet Plus Profi Mode, check that there is powder in the powder pot. If not, switch the Cabotron off and depressurize the powder pot and you'll hear it hiss. The powder is placed in the pot here. It should be filled only halfway up until the little notch which you'll find on the outside of the pot. If the pot is too full of powder, then no air can move the powder around and down the powder line and it will block up the air line. Also, only use dry powder. If you can see any clumps or the powder has been exposed to air for a period of time, it will affect the powder and possibly block the air lines. The Cavatron Jet Plus should be used with the Cavatron Jet Fresh, which is mint flavoured aluminium trihydroxide profi powder. This profi powder has a minty flavour and taste, so patients find it tolerable in comparison to some salty based profi powders. If you ever see water in the airline clear pot or in the powder pot, this means that the air and water line has been mixed up and the cavatron has been accidentally flooded. Empty the pot of water and powder immediately by turning the cavatron upside down onto a sink. Then, making sure that you've got the right air cable plugged into the airline. Just push air through the system until you dry the Cavatron out thoroughly. Then call the service department immediately to arrange for an urgent repair. Once the powder pot has been filled with powder and the lid is on tight, switch the Cavatron Jet Plus on to pressurise the system. The dial on the top of the powder pot indicates how much powder you'd like to come through the system. This dial should be checked before every use and should be set between low and medium. Because when you retighten the lid, you can sometimes accidentally move the dial. Think of the Profi mode like a jet wash machine. The water removes stain with the help of powder. However, if too much powder is coming through the system, it will just make a mess and get everywhere. Therefore, keep the powder as low as possible and use the water to increase stain removal. The Profi insert should always have the cleaning rod inserted, keeping it unblocked. This should be inserted after use and whilst autoclaved and not removed until the insert is ready to be used again. Be careful to line the Profi insert up carefully to the jet mate, ensuring the rubble nozzle air opening is not damaged or chipped, as this will affect the airflow and possibly block the insert. After using the jet mate in Profi mode, use the cleaning rod to remove any powder before being autoclaved, because any residue of powder being left behind can swell up blocking the Profi insert or jet mate. When ready to use the air polishing mode, there are four different settings. None, short, medium and long. None is constant Profi powder and water. Short will give you two second blast of powder and then a two second blast of water. Medium is a four second blast of powder and then a two second blast of water. And long is a six second blast of powder and a two second blast of water. Problems can occur when you forget that you're using the short, medium or long mode, which can mean spraying the patient in the face or eyes with powder. So the most popular option is to select none, which means that when the foot pedal is depressed, the polishing powder comes through. When not depressed, it stops which is the easiest and most predictable way to use the Profi mode. The Profi insert should be used at a 45 degree angle, one to two millimeters away from the tooth surface and facing away from any soft tissue. The assistant should hold a large evacuation suction tip in front of the Profi insert nozzle, sucking away any powder or water coming off the tooth. It is important to work methodically in small sections and line movements. To test that the Profi is working before use, take an old copper coin and hold it vertically and then hold the Profi tip facing down towards the coin over a sink at a 45 degree angle to the coin and then move in a small line to see if there is a difference. If not, turn the water and powder up a very small amount and try again. If nothing happens, the airline may be blocked. So when you have the airline plugged in and the Cavatron is switched on, you should feel air coming through the jet mate and the Profi insert. If not, it could be that the air hole has been blocked up in the jet mate. So check with the jet mate rod. If the jet mate is clear, then check the Profi insert is unblocked with the Profi cleaning tool. The cleaning tool is not to clean out or unblock the insert, but to keep it unblocked. To unblock a Profi insert, you could try soaking the insert in hot water and using an endodontic glide path file to unblock the insert. 
the service light icon will light up generally when there is a problem with either the stereo mate or the handpiece cable. So change the stereo mate firstly. If that doesn't resolve the issue, then check the handpiece cable for corrosion around the connection. If you see corrosion around the handpiece cable connection, please contact our service department for a service and repair quote. The Cavitron Jet Plus should be used with distilled water or water with an antibacterial solution to keep the lines clean of biofilm. The water line should be run dry at night and then water fed through the unit at the start of the day to clear any biofilm or debris using the purge button. We also suggest a weekly waterline bleaching protocol to be in place to remove scale, which is something that all devices which use water suffer from. To begin with, look at the filter along the waterline and change it if you see any discoloration or debris. Unplug the waterline at the ADEC connection and unscrew the filter and screw into place a new filter and then plug the waterline back into the ADEC connection. To clear the system of scale, we recommend a 10% solution of bleachy water. Thin white bleach is run through the system using the purge button. You simply press the purge button once, wait for two minutes, and then press the purge button again, waiting for another two minutes. Then you clean out the water bottle and replace with what you would normally use, outpron or distilled water, and flush through the water line to remove any remaining bleach by pressing the purge button once, waiting for two minutes, and then press the purge button again, waiting for another two minutes. Only thin white bleach should be used without any scent. Bleaching the water line stops scale and debris from blocking the water valves, which can stop any water coming through by clogging the water valve closed, which means no water will come through, or clogging it open, which makes the cavitron leak constantly. Most issues can be resolved by going through the maintenance examples spoken about in the video, but if you cannot resolve your Cavitron faults, please contact our service department to arrange service and repair.